A signal from a diver. A deep sea diver is suspended beneath the surface of Loch Ness by 100 meters long cable that is attached to a boat on the surface. You can see in the figure. The diver and his suit have a total mass of 120 kilograms and a volume of 0.08 meter cube. The cable has a diameter of 2 centimeters and a linear mass density of 1.1 kilograms per meter. The diver thinks he sees something moving in the murky depths and jerks the end of the cable back and forth to send transverse waves up the cable as a signal to his companions in the boat. Part A. What is the tension in the cable at its lower end where it's attached to the diver? Do not forget to include the buoyant force that the water, whose density is 1000 kg per meter cube, exerts on him. Part B. Calculate the tension in the cable at distance x above the diver. In your calculation, include the buoyant force on the cable. So we're at a distance x from the diver. Part C. The speed of transverse waves on the cable is given by square root f over mu. Uh, that's the tension divided by mass per unit length. The speed therefore varies along the cable since the tension is not constant. This expression ignores the damping force that the water exerts on the moving cable. Integrate to find the time required for the first signal to reach the surface. Now in part A we're looking at the free body diagram uh, at the bottom of the cable. So for the diver. The diver has its total mass times gravitational acceleration g, its weight, the tension at the bottom, and the buoyant force being exerted uh, on the diver. So what is the uh, bottom tension, T bottom? This will be equal to the total mass, the diver and the suit, times g minus the buoyant force, which is the total mass times g minus density of the water, the volume of the diver and the suit times g. It's the weight of the fluid displaced by the diver. So this is basically the buoyant force. So if we substitute the numbers here, the tension at the bottom will be the total mass of the diver and the suit was 120 kilograms, so 120 times 9.8 meters per second square minus the density of water, 1000 kilograms per meter cube, the volume of the diver and the suit, 0.08 meter cube times 9.8. So we can find the tension at the bottom of the cable where the diver is attached to be 392 newtons. So that was the question in part A, the tension in the cable at its lower end where it's attached to the diver. Now we're moving to a distance x. Uh, now we want to know the tension at distance x about the diver. So new free body diagram, we have the weight of the diver, we have the weight of the cable, for the uh, portion uh, of length x, a new buoyant force due to the total uh, volume displaced by the diver and the suit and the cable and a tension as a function of x. Now mass of the cable uh, for the portion of the cable with length x is mass per unit length times x mass per unit length is given as 1.1 kilograms per meter cube, so it's 1.1 times x. The net force on the y-axis is equal to the tension as a function of x plus the buoyant force prime for this new situation that must be balanced by the total weight, the total mass of the diver and the suit plus the mass of the cable times g and g is equal to 9.8 meters per second square. So we can see that the tension as a function of x is 120 kilograms plus 1.1 x times g minus the new buoyant force. 
And now we have to calculate the new buoyant force. It's 120 plus 1.1x times g minus the uh, volume of the portion of the cable which has length l. Now for the cable, we were given that the cable has a diameter of two centimeters. Therefore, it has a radius of one centimeter. So pi one times 10 to minus two meters squared pi r square h so pi r square times x is the volume of the cable we have 0 0.08 meter cube volume of this diver and the suit uh, multiplied with density of water times g so this is the total volume density of water times g that's the buoyant force so we can calculate the tension as a function of x to be uh, 9.8 times 120, 1176, 9.8 times 1 1.1, 10.78x minus 3.07876x minus uh, 784 when we substitute for g. And our final answer for tension as a function of x is 392 plus... 7.70x so as you can see the tension varies as a function of x now we want to know how long it takes uh, for the first signal to reach the companions of the diver the total time is integral of delta t which is the integral of dx divided by dx dt so uh, we can write the time uh, differential time this way so this is the integral from 0 to L the total length of the uh, cable dx divided by the propagation speed of the wave the propagation speed of the wave is uh, going to vary with distance tension as a function of x divided by mu square root uh, therefore we see that delta t will be equal to integral the total length of the cable 100 meters 0 to 100 uh, now we have uh, one, uh, 1 over v which is a uh, square root mu 1.1 dx divided by uh, square root of the tension 392 plus 7.7 x uh, square root now we need to perform this integral. Uh, to perform this integral, let's have y square equal to 392 plus 7.7x so that 2y dy will be equal to 7.7 dx or uh, dx will be equal to 2y dy divided by 7.7. So the time it takes, delta t, will be integral from the lower limit y1 to upper limit y2. Square root of 1.1 dx, I substitute 2y dy divided by 7.7. And for the square root of 392 plus 7.7x, we have y. And as you can see, y's will cancel. So we will be left with... Uh, 2 square root 1.1 divided by 7.7y which will be evaluated between the lower limit and upper limit. Now x equals 0 to x equals 100 meters corresponds to y equals if you substitute x equals 0 here it's going to be a square root of 392 uh, and if you substitute x equals 100, it will become 392 plus 770 uh, square root for the upper limit. So delta t will then become 2 square root 1.1 divided by 7.7 .7 square root of 392 plus 770 minus square root of 392 and this gives us 
3.89 seconds as the final uh, travel time of the signal. Okay, so to summarize, we have a diver uh, beneath the surface of a lake attached to a 100 meter long cable. Uh, the mass of the diver and the suit is 120 kilograms, volume is 0.08 meter cubes. The cable has a diameter of 2 centimeters and linear mass density mu 1.1. So the diver sees something underneath and sends a signal up the cable. So first of all, I want to know what is the tension at the point the diver is attached. So the forces here will be the weight of the diver, the tension on the cable and the buoyant force on the diver. So the buoyant force on the diver is equal to B, which is density of water, volume of the diver and the suit multiplied by G. It's the weight of the water displaced by the diver because the diver is completely submerged into the water and we have the the force pointing down the total weight m total times g the difference is t attention at the bottom t plus b is the weight so we can uh, substitute the numbers to find 392 newtons now if we are at a distance x the buoyant force will be modified because we have a new volume displaced due to the additional volume of the cable with length x and then we have the weight of that portion of the cable and we have the total weight and the tension, the new tension. The mass of the cable is found by multiplying mass per unit length with its length, x. And so the tension plus the new buoyant force balances the total weight, m total plus 1.1x times g. And the new buoyant force is calculated by looking at the total uh, volume, 0.08 due to the diver and the suit, and pi r square h, pi times 110 to minus 2 square x for the cable. Uh, and this is, will be multiplied by density of water times g. So this gives us tension as a function of x. Now the time it takes for the signal to reach from the diver to the companions uh, at the surface will be the integral of delta t, which is integral of dx over dx dt, which is from 0 to l dx divided by propagation speed of the signal. Propagation speed is square root tension over mu. We substitute for tension um, the x dependence, 392 plus 7.7x. So... Uh, and mu goes upstairs because it's 1 over v, square root 1.1x uh, for uh, square root 1.1 dx. For mu, we substitute 1.1. And we uh, perform this integration by substitution y square equals 392 plus 7.7x. And the end result is 3.89 seconds.